Hi everyone! There's nothing better than curling up with a good book in a quiet cozy corner. It's a great way to escape from all of the electronics, the TVs, the laptops, the phones, and just sit down and read a good book. So I want to give you guys four tips on how you can create this cozy little corner in your home or any place in your home. Now it doesn't have to be a corner in your home. It can also be a closet as a good nook. That's perfect for the little ones. So I just want to show you and give you guys some tips on how you can create this space. Now the first tip I want to give you is you don't have to do any construction. Like I said, just find a quiet corner in your home. You want it to be away from TVs and the telephones. You want no distractions. You want some, some place where you can be inspired to read and just kind of get lost in your book. So just find a quiet corner in your home. The second thing is you want to try to personalize it to make it cozy for you. What I've done here is I found this chalkboard, uh, I don't know, sign that you want to call it from home goods. I thought it was nice that you could write little notes, write your next book that maybe you want to read or you heard about or maybe your friend told you about a good book to read. You could write it here and it'll remind you to get the book later. So I thought this was perfect and it has like a little rustic basket. basket on 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 it so you could put like your new books or books that are coming up that you want to read because that if you see it you'll read it so that'll inspire you to read on top of my the second thing I want to do is um, I wanted to as far as personalizing it I added this balance scale that you see here I got it from home goods and I thought it was so cute to put here to inspire me because I love birds and I love anything rustic so this is my little corner where I love to read and and look at pretty things and I like it I added some greenery because you guys know how I love greenery and added them uh, some faux greenery because I will kill green <laughs> and put it inside of this planter and have it sitting on top of the balance scale you know it's, it's a really nice piece the second thing is this bookcase that you see here I got it from the flea market and it was only 10 bucks it was about it was like a burgundy color and all I did was whitewashed it to go with my theme that I have going here because I don't live near the beach but it makes me feel like I'm at the beach what's better than reading a book at the beach right so why not have a little inspiration and bring in some corals and some uh, starfish that I have down there and I just have some encyclopedias that are sitting on top of my bookcase with um, a magnifying glass that I also got from uh, Target um, I'm sorry home goods they you know I, I'm starting to collect these because they have so many colors and different sizes and shapes over here I got a a sign that says life is good because life is good life is what you make it and I got that from TJ Maxx as well and then the coral piece I got from the flea market was only a dollar and then I got some birdies that I have sitting over there here are these baskets I had them for another use but I thought they would be great here to put my my books in and I haven't I was gonna add numbers to the bottom of it you mean onto the basket I thought that would look neat and there's a box down there for putting notepads and highlighters in case I wanted to uh, some ins you never know when inspiration is going to hit you so in case I wanted to write something down I got the book there and there's uh, some more encyclopedias and a starfish over here I want to show you is my lamp that's the second thing you want to have some sort of lighting lighting is key to reading <laughs> you want to have perfect perfect lighting you want to have something that's going to be um, down facing down on your book because you don't want to strain your eyes or hurt your eyes or anything so I got this lamp from Tuesday morning and I just absolutely love it it goes with what uh, the theme that I'm going for here the other thing too here is comfort you want to have something comfortable you want to be inspired to read <laughs> this chair you probably seen in my home office video and I have like I said I have two of them here's the other one I'm using because the other one didn't fit in the office but I love this chair you want to make sure that you you have something comfortable where you want to you know crawl up in and be inspired to read so make sure you find something that's comfortable and cozy for you so those are my tips now you can get details on my blog and you know give this a try this is perfect for encouraging little ones to read if they have a quiet corner uh, in, in the home where they can read you know reading is good reading is knowledge and knowledge is power everybody Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.